did it early. So I think it was a good decision as it turned out. Yeah, please. Just wanted to follow up on uh, my colleague's question about Russian interference. Can you pledge to the American people that you will not accept any foreign assistance in the upcoming election? And on this idea of a purge in your administration, uh, there was recently the departure of your acting DNI, Joseph McGuire. You replaced him with your ambassador to Germany, Rick Grinnell. Uh, some of your critics have uh, pointed out that Ambassador Grinnell has no intelligence experience. How can you justify to the American people having an acting DNI with no intelligence Okay, experience? first of all, I want no help from any country. And I haven't been given help from any country. And if you see what CNN, your wonderful network, said, uh, I guess they apologized in a way for, didn't they apologize for the fact that they said certain things that weren't true? Tell me, what was their apology yesterday? What did they say? Mr. President, I think our record on delivering the truth is a lot better than yours sometimes. Your record you don't mind is, me saying. Your, let me tell you about your record. Your record is so bad, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You have probably I'm the not worst ashamed record. Of anything in our you probably have the worst record in the history of broadcasting. As far as uh, uh, McGuire is concerned, he's a terrific guy. But, you know, on March 11th, his time ended anyway. So his time came up. So we would have had to. By statute, we would have had to change him anyway. So the well, time your new was DNI there. have experience I in think, the intelligence yes, field. Yes, in fact, we're talking to five different people right now. I think all people that you know, all people that you respect, and I'll make a decision probably over the next week to two weeks. We have some very good people, but uh, Joe McGuire is a very excellent guy. He's a very good man, and his time was March 11th. I believe it was March 11th where he would have had to leave. Was he but pushed out because to... he wasn't sufficiently loyal to you? No, not at all. Not at all. He was pushed out because, frankly, he wasn't pushed out. He would have had to get out. On March 11th, he would have had to leave. But we're going to be making a decision on DNI very shortly. Thank you, sir. Yeah, please. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Uh, Mr. President. Uh, well, I, that's not uh, nice. Yeah, uh, let, let her go, do it. Let's go one I, I know, but you, you ripped the mic out of her hand. You can't do it. So, one, one more. Boy, that wasn't very nice. He's... President Trump, uh, I hope you're having a good visit here in India. I'm Ruchi Bhatia from ET now. Uh, we have heard from Prime Minister Modi as well as you on a long impending trade deal. It's still not happened. Uh, even today we heard uh, both you and him talking about how in future there is going to be one. Have you been able to... Uh, uh, figure out the kind of differences that were there yeah, earlier, we know, we especially know the on data localization. Sure. That has been one of the sticky yeah, points. Sure. We know the problems. I know the problems. Previous administrations had no clue. They didn't know the problems. I know the problems. We're being charged large amounts of tariffs and uh, can't do that. Can't do that. And so they understand that uh, that's where I am. And if they want to deal with us, and, and they will, they're going to, just like China. Everybody said you'll never make a deal with China. I made a deal with China. It's a great deal. They're going to buy $250 billion worth of product, and that's only a piece of the deal. It's a large piece. It's probably 40 to 50 percent, but it's, a, it's an incredible deal. In addition to that, we're taking in billions and billions of dollars worth of tariffs that we can now use for phase two because they want to get rid of the 25 percent. So we have the 25 percent. They want to get rid of it. Well, with India, India is, I think, the highest, again, I said it before, but the highest tariff when you deal with India, uh, Harley-Davidson has to pay tremendous tariffs when they send motorcycles in here. When India sends motorcycles into the U.S., there's virtually no tariff. For the most part, there is absolutely no tariff. So I just said that's unfair.